being a software developer in Africa is quite a challenge actually. Um, you have to deal with um, issues that you take for granted in other countries, uh, such as uh, inadequate hardware to code in, uh, power outages, uh, lack, lack of or very unstable internet connection, lack of job opportunities, uh, and so on and so forth. Beside all of these issues though, um, there's been a boiling amount of talent among the software developers in Africa. Uh, I'm thinking about Ebu Tabi, uh, Cameroonian, a creator of Shell Feed Me. I'm thinking about Enram Tawia, a creator of iWarrior. He's a game developer, mobile game developer. I'm thinking about Mohamed Ndoy from Senegal, creator of iSenegal. And uh, lastly, I'm thinking about Charles Kitika, creator of iCow from Kenya. Our whole focus is to help them alleviate some of these issues that, they, that software developers in Africa actually uh, dealing with on a daily basis. Um, so we hope to provide them with the uh, necessary environment, infrastructure, uh, um, um, skill set, um, uh, exposure globally um, that would give them this opportunity to, to perform locally, uh, you know, by creating solutions for the communities or the, the country they in, but also compete globally. The Internet World Stats projected the number of Internet users in Africa to be roughly 140 million users for a population of more than 1 billion people. The four biggest mobile phone markets are in Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, and Ghana. There is no doubt there is a strong information communication and technology momentum in Africa. In the past two years, we were able to galvanize software developers and IT professionals by organizing tech conferences in Kenya, Ghana, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Senegal. In 2011, such conferences brought together some 800 professional developers, computer science students, and small software startup companies, all with the focus on breakthrough technologies. The Codos for Africa training programs aims to provide trainees with the skills and knowledge to take on appropriate professional positions in the ICT sector, grow into leadership positions, or even pursue entrepreneurship positions. The students will be treated as junior employees that are expected to go through the software development life cycle. It is a practical project-based training that follows the industry best practices while taking into account the unique African context. Coders for Africa's main goal is to support the creators of technology and help them find responses to problems their respective communities and countries face. By empowering the youth through training and local capacity building, we'll be able to make a huge impact in the social economic development of the continent. The main purpose of our Dev Hub is to provide developers with real-life project-based training the government with cost-effective IT solutions, with people who are actually familiar with the local customs. Our vision is to create and support this Pan-African community of competent, internationally certified IT professionals who are focused on developing the tools for African agriculture, business, education, healthcare, government, and general social needs. In order to sustain this initiative, Colors for Africa created local chapter managed by a leader who organized Coders for Africa in Action, which is a monthly event where boot camp and workshop are conducted. Coders for Africa needs your help to educate and accredit 1,000 Pan-African software developers utilizing mobile, web, and database development platforms by 2016. Here at Coders for Africa, we are building a Pan-African movement by fostering the virtual and physical pairing of our software developers. At its heart, Coders for Africa is a social movement, right, based on the concept that Africans and people of African descent share a common bond. During our Coders for Africa in Action, which is a bi-monthly event, we will invite um, developers from different countries to present, for instance, in Ghana. And that kind of gives, uh, it provides a form of bond between the different locations and the developers. How can Coders for Africa help an African farmer, teacher, or doctor maintain and add value into the newly deployed technologies such as mobile and web?
We deeply believe that the role of human capital development in ICT is often missed in Africa. A major issue in some countries is the lack of funding for programmers to develop relevant solutions for the numerous challenges facing both public and private institutions. Moreover, the focus of private and public sectors is often on the usage and not the creation of technology by indigenous citizens. Building capacity is an efficient solution to develop a country's economy. That's why we are focusing on project-based trainings. Our trainings will allow African IT professionals to identify and solve some of the problems faced by their communities using web applications, mobile applications and software. The IT tools developed will of course benefit the IT sector in Africa, but above all, they will improve the functioning of key segments of the society, such as education, healthcare, agriculture or administration, uh, which can only have a positive impact on social and economic development. Please join us and help jumpstart a generation of highly skilled African IT professionals. Our programs provide developers with the tools, knowledge, and an environment in which they can contribute as global citizens to better their communities.